are not able to spend your money or the taxpayer's money. And, and, and Mr. Turner and I have had this question or the conversation just as far as, and I'm, I haven't attended one of your meetings, so I don't know what the big uh, scope of your, your vision is down the road, but that the funds wouldn't be used, like, like you mentioned right now, that you know, a valve goes out, things like that. But that should still come out of like the actual city maintenance fund, the parks fund that we have set up here. So that way, that would be the onus and focus of using your months for the larger spectrum, you know, whether improving the Little League fields or, you know, putting new bathrooms at the at the basketball court here at the Python Park, improving the actual park. So that way, they wouldn't run to you every time we're bleeding, like, oh, we need help in the parks department. You know, You're right. That would, be our, that would be our contention would be that it'd be for the larger plan. And I believe, Council Nieto, when uh, EDC presented our budget and they talked about setting aside uh, dollar amounts, and I believe you had them to increase it because they said you have a plan. And one of the things I can see the Park Foundation being a very intricate park is helping the city to develop a parks plan, and so uh, that leads to grants. And so it all, occurs. but the little maintenance things in reference to that is not something that um, I could foresee them having to repair. But actually, um, we've had someone come in, I know she approached the mayor as well as myself, in reference to replacing nets at the tennis courts and large projects like that, then that's something that we may want to partner with uh, the foundation as well. But I just needed to be, because I think that that was the first time any funds had been used out of that uh, fund in some time. I wanted to make sure I didn't leap over anybody and just to consult them. If they had said no, I was going to bring and ask you anyway, but I needed to be able to say to start that. And I have been um, actually uh, done the liaison, so I attend uh, most of those meetings that I can attend. I attended part of uh, met with the Hart Foundation uh, when I met them in TML and brought them to present to the council. So it's, I think it's very intricate that we work together on a hike and bike trail and other big projects, but I have to agree, yes, it's more of a big picture, not the small maintenance things. One other thing that I might go back and remind us all about, when we set up the dollar on the bills, we were looking for some money to match with the state, and we were using the San Antonio River Authority's park plan to qualify for state funding. And then at that legislative session, the legislature appropriated no money for the state size of the docket. You do have an item tonight for A, which is broadly enough conceptualized. It could include some parse activities for matching purposes. And it's an item that's coming back. Say that again, do it and hear the last part. 4A could come back to you and include parks. Uh, we'll just see if you do. So, uh, the grant, uh, grant works, and I want to thank you all for uh, providing us with grant works. Grant works, works this way. If they get the grant, there's an administrative portion to that, if they get that administrative fee, whatever that fee is. Uh, but they also give us whatever smaller grants that doesn't have administrative fee, and parks definitely falls into that portion, and parks is part of the problem. And even uh, program and even if they talk about a comprehensive plan, of course, parks would be part of our comprehensive plans. We plan for our wonderful city in the future. So those are kind of things that we're going to be able to do. Actually, floor A could have their meeting. Mayor, this young lady, this young lady has a question. Yes. I just want to mention that the Wilson County Patriots are going to do another fundraiser. Um, we haven't finalized everything, but hopefully we'll be utilizing Eric Rodriguez with this and his facility, so we still have to make a plan. Um, also, Henriette, I have a question for you. Did anybody submit any names to be on the 4A board? Were any submitted? Were any forms submitted? Uh, there were several forms that were submitted that we gave to the council at the last meeting. Uh, I believe the city secretary, I, I could tell you the names. I gave you everything that uh, the previous, on the December 11th meeting, we, that was everybody that I received on the 4A and, and 4B. Um, today you have two more that I received since that December 11th meeting on 4B, but I have not received any other applications. Okay, because Pete submitted one quite some time ago. Is there an interview yes, process? Yes, it, 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 it was included in their okay. packet. But is there an interview process? How, how is it determined who will serve on it? You may have an appointment. Okay, but you don't interview the person or anything to find out there.
Just one more comment, Mayor. I wanted to make sure that, that we recognized uh, Daniel Tejada for uh, the efforts that we started years ago on Heartland. And I, I, I heard them mentioned by uh, Ms. Henrietta again. This is an initiative that we started a long time ago. But there, there's, there seems to be the problem of you know, you're in the city limits, or you're out of the city limits, you're in, you're out. I don't think that's the case. I think that we all want the same thing, whether you live in the city limits or not. It's the people that want good and the people that don't. And you had somebody sitting on that council that didn't want good that stopped it. So please don't do that again because Mr. Doug Jones right there, he's working hard on that parking foundation. And if, and if we got anybody else that wants to be on there, they need to be on there. But don't, don't, don't look past yourselves sitting up there because y'all make the decisions. The 4A board, and the loss of direction started up there. Boy, board knew where they wanted to go. But, you know, the negative, the, the evil that's within our community, do that. You're really a person of, of, of Christ, then remember that. Because everyone's got to pay him at the end of the day. Okay? Thank you. So I have my direction in reference to uh, the board. I will set up those meetings and let you know and hopefully come up with a comprehensive uh, thing. That's the end of my report, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Maria. Thank you, Mr. Duck, for, for your service. No action taken on G. But we will advertise, right? So there was action taken. That's what you're looking for, is direction. Right. And the taking it to the council's consent is, or direction is to advertise? Well, I think that should just be an automatic. Every time we have anything like this, we should just automatically advertise. And that way, it's just actually All right, let's make that in the form of a motion so there's no question about it. I can't. Make the motion to advertise for make that a routine <coughs> process for board appointments. I'd like to make the motion to make it part of the routine here. process. To make it a seat. routine process to seek board 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 appointment. But I mean, can it, can it be a director from council if Parks Foundation technically is appointed by council? Correct. We, we understand that's the case now. Yes. Now. Uh, that's listed as part of the item here. They need to say 4A and Panyon building. Correct. Stand correct. Well, there's more than those two boards. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. That's, so, that's so, what they're that's a different that's a different so then we'll table this to, yeah. so we can include the remainder of the, of the board. Well, let's at least include these two. So there's no doubt. So what are the chances of it coming? It could be on the next agenda. I, I assure you, it'll be the 22nd agenda if you care to, that we can run on all boards because I'm asking you to create a new board. And so you can say, if you want to make it generically, we could just say all boards in the advertising if you care to make it generic, whatever board exists. Please add an exception. Well, well we, we're not going to. We're not going to. You say all boards. Your, your foundation, not board. Yes. But it's still a board of directors. But they have no jurisdiction to appoint. What if we just say 4A in planning and zoning? Because in item I, we're addressing 4B, and there you can bring it up again. Right. And oh, right there. Great. Right. And then we got the. Yes, ma'am. Did you know that was yeah. Elvis' birthday today? And he turned, he would have been 80. <laughs> but he's not in the house. He has left the building. We'll say happy birthday in a minute. Not in the house. I don't know. So the motion is make the motion to <coughs> make it a routine to advertise for all boards for, or for four A four A and four A and P and Z board. Four A is board and P and Z board. Okay, the motion may I have a second. To include other boards there. I second. Second.
uh, we have for them to send us a representative. But I need you all to say this is a legitimate committee. Because they're using public funds, of course it has to be open meeting, but you would have two representatives on that. I think it's important for you to have a weighted vote so that you can say it represents clearly whoever you all select, it represents someone. It could be someone who already have on the board that you just select and be over there. It would not be anybody on staff. Henrietta. Yes, Isn't sir. the visitors and tourists the vision of the FPDC too? Their 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 vision. Well, it, it can be. Part of what FPDC does, bringing in housing, bringing in, yes, it is part of their vision, which is why they would need to have a representative on this committee as well. Yeah, and that's and you had included that in. Yes, I had included uh, EDC to have a representative on this. Correct, as well as the county. Right, as well as but, the but uh, uh, I'm trying to pinpoint it down at the funding. You, you want to take some funds from the hotel taxes, but we still can use some funding from the FEDC. We wouldn't need funding from FEDC because the purpose of the Tourist Bureau is to bring people here to put heads in bed. Whenever you talk about hot tax or hotel motel tax, it's all about heads in bed. Doesn't the, the chamber do that? The chamber is, is loyal to the chamber members. So no, they don't. The chamber is loyal to their members who pay a membership due or fee. That's their loyalty, that's their client, that's their bread and butter. For a hotel motel, their purpose, the reason why you can tax them is to get more people to come. So it's kind of like it costs you money to make money. So you need to be able to say, I'm marketing the city of Floresville. For so, people to come here so they can stay. So eventually, they're gonna be funded. Eventually, who? The visitors and tourists are going. They're, they're going to want some money from the, the, the city. The hotel, the hotel, the hotel, the hotel, hotel, hotel. Yes, yeah, from the, the council, city. No, it's not. The council will be making that decision. Okay. Yeah. So the council would say, okay, we want you to go out and market. We want you to go out and get us some things. We want to have staff that can do that. The council would decide to do that. But that's all you can use hotel motel tax for is to advertise and market your town to bring heads to beds, to bring bodies here to stay in the hotel. We're hoping that they stay. So that's the purpose of the hotel motel tax. So that's the only thing you can use it for. And typically, historically, the Floresville, I mean, a tourist bureau, that's where they get their money from. You can tell them how much, you, you can say, you can have $100,000 and that's all you are going to do to market it, or you can say we can reserve some other. There's a lot of things we can do with the hotel motel tax, but definitely a tourism, a tourism business bureau you need to have so that we can have a place on the website so that we can have orchestration. And they have to partner with other entities, but it's very important for us to be able to do that, especially since we want to have more. One of the things that's happening with our community center is that basically all the money that we collect for 4A is gonna to go to the desk. So we need some operation and some maintenance money. Well, it's not, kids yet as a money, they're not gonna do it. I mean, Gloria is doing a yeoman's job and booking that place. She's talking about booking in 2017. I said, don't think about it right now, Gloria. <laughs> but we need to be able to, to have somebody come and give us direction from a marketing standpoint, a professional firm, and then we can hire staff um, that can be qualified enough to be able to say, here, this is what they do, to have a small conference there, uh, to have a small uh, event there, um, whether it be musical or whatever, but we need to be able to do that. Ms. Our, our, last, our last workshop was uh, with uh, Mr. Quiroga, he has specified that that the that it needs to be marketed, especially the the convention center, that it has to be marketed a lot better, so that you can distinguish the difference that you're actually bringing people from outside of Floresville into Floresville, mainly because the weddings and quinceañeras, you really can't specify that that you're bringing people from outside in. But when we looked at, we had Gloria to look at people who had come and, you know, stayed at, and, and so most of it is all local. And so what we want, remember when we're, we know it's a great venue, mm -hmm. I think it's a great venue, but when people are looking at it only on paper, mm -hmm. then all they're seeing is what is the kids in What are you doing? It's what is the kids in and, you know, a local event. So we want to be able to be able to put it out there. Gloria could probably do a whole lot better if we had advertising. You gotta have a commercial. We don't have any commercials. We don't take any advertising to put it in the newspaper. It's word of mouth. People know it's here. And so hotel tax, you need to use it. But you need to be able to not use it helter skelter. You need to be able to say, here's a tourism bureau. They came and made a recommendation to the council. The council approved it. I can put it in my budget. I have nothing now other than it's just rolling up. 
when we go forward, and it's going to be very important to the community center as we talk about funding it and going forward at OM, operation and maintenance is definitely something. It needs to support itself. It has to support itself. Or at least break even, which doesn't make me happy, but I can live with breaking even. Costing me money, going into my general fund, going into my, my general pool, my comptroller is going to be stacking me on the hands pretty soon because you cannot be able to do that. It has to be a break even, self sustaining entity. The city should make money. Mm -hmm. so, uh, you we but we have to break even before we make money first. I got that's the right direction. I'm sorry. Uh, you stated that we were we could get with the, the hotels. And we didn't have to be specific as to what events. The event center is, is bringing this to bed right, and we want to be able to use that money. What the hotel motel association that we passed out the literature for says that part of the marketing process has to be some way to systematically demonstrate that you're bringing people in. One of the other incentives in this thing is you're authorized to give up the one quarter of the tax, one quarter percent of the tax to the hotel motel people to make sure that they're getting you the right amount of money. When I went to Austin recently, stayed two nights, I ended up paying $32 in taxes the city of Austin for their hotel yeah. motel tax. Yes, we can even use the hotel motel tax to pay for an auditor, which I'm going to bring to you very soon again, to audit the hotel motel tax to make sure that we're receiving all the funding, because I don't think we are. But I need to be able to start it, to have it going forward, and the timing is perfect right now, because it's real looking and focusing on the community center, that's what's important that we have it being able to function, that we're able to fund it and market, that we're able to have our social media, to have the signage to talk about a wonderful historical downtown. We need to be able to do that. We need to have some signage. EDC, a Council of spent their money to fix that wonderful sign up there on 181 that kind of curled up on the end. So, so we're working in partnership together, but we need to be able to have a focus. Money, it always comes down to money. And so this particular time, we have the money. We just need to be able to use it correctly. So what I'm asking, because I need to go home, because I know you want to go celebrate yes. Elvis's birthday. King's birthday. What I want to be able to do is asking you to formally make this a board. Then the attorney came right out of the bylaws that will make up the standards. I'll bring it back to you. But what I'm asking you is to formally make it a board. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, do, I do want to say something. I want to make it clear. Okay. That the event center, when you're talking about weddings and quinceaneras, those are not submissive events. These are people who are looking somewhere to have their wedding and their quinceanera, or birthday party, or a family reunion. Because the only two choices they have here is either that or the show barn. And by far, our event center is much better. But what you're looking for is someone that's going to bring other businesses. Like, I know she has job fairs out there, but can you imagine how many more job fairs we could have? More, she's got meeting rooms available. She doesn't have the time to be out there soliciting. We need someone that's going to be able to go around surrounding towns or whatever. There are people from East Central and everywhere are having their prompts there. We can reach out to more schools. Yeah, you have what, I agree, Mary. You have something right here. With, February is. San Antonio, and I just saw it in the paper, that they won for the fifth year in a row, that that's the best rodeo that they have right there in San Antonio. We have no pre or post events right here. Uh, and we can host those. For those people who have a lot of money, they might want to have private parties or whatever. They we can have it. We're right here in a suburb of San Antonio that drive. I mean, how many people in this room drove to San Antonio today? I'm sorry, I got time. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to shut up. <coughs> Uh, Sir, for the record, we used to New York. Thank you for the record, get there with your. Don't no, forget your name. My name is Rick Cantu. I live at, uh, here in Fort Um uh, Marketing, I mean, people can go to any city, they want you. Get a professional marketer that has a slogan, that has a picture, that has a gimmick, that go to Florida because. They seen the chupacabra there, or whatever. You know, <laughs> but something from professional marketers that got a plan. Come to Florida. You got to come to Florida because the Pina Festival is something you got to see. Because you got to come to our events and you got to come and bring you know your your band here. 
you kind of come in, you know, have your party here. Yeah. Uh, a professional, like she says, that has the gimmick, that knows how to get these things going, so people want to come to Florida and just hang out. How many people go to, what is it, uh, Fredericksburg, to the place over there? They want to go to Fredericksburg just to see what Fredericksburg's about. So why can't that, we have that here in Florida. And, and in my hospital uh, here in Florida, Ryan came in and he started a tremendous marketing uh, deal. And man, we're, we're, we're growing, 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 and getting more and more patients all the time, and our hospital is getting bigger and better and everything else, and it's just because of the dedication he put onto marketing. So marketing, it's hard to see that because you've got to put money in there. But if you get that gimmick, we could be just like Fredericksburg. Or Bernie, or the looking one back. Was one of <laughs> you were breaking. I didn't pay you. Didn't, you didn't re be sure to put on your uh, put in your resume, Mr. Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's why we also want to include uh, the hospital, because we need to be able to have everybody come together, because everybody has a point of view. And Floresville is the bomb. We just need to tell everybody else out there that we are the best thing coming. We are here. We're close enough. People want to get out the city. I've learned from being here a short period of time. People don't want to be in traffic. People don't want to be in the city. They want to come out and have that country living, that what used to be that downtown where you can walk to store to store and, and buy the homemade this or the barrettes or to get a, a confetti egg or to, to get all those things that you all do. That it's so exciting to me. But we have to do it the right way. We cannot do it with just staff putting together. I need the professionals to be able to do that. And whatever they come up with, you have to approve it. You have to say yes and sign off on it. So that when you're in the HEB and somebody's saying, hey, I heard that radio commercial, where'd you get that from? I mean, when uh, Fighters Keepers had the radio commercial, I was a little kid. Did you hear this? I had, they say, that too. did you hear it on the radio? Those kind of things we need to be able to have, but I need you to be able to feel comfortable with it, but it starts with you. You would actually do that, and we can have them come and present to you. So again, I'm just asking that we need to establish that. We have the money to do that. Those hotels need to be filled with other things than the guys who work on the oil field. So we can talk about discounts, all those kind of things we need to be able to put together. So I'm hoping that you can finalize this board. I'll bring it back to you when we have the standard type of uh, agreement, but I need you to make it bring life, give birth that bad baby tonight. <laughs> one other question. We're talking about two different things here. I'm hearing you're talking about hiring a professional, which I agree with totally. Hiring a marketing firm, but you're also talking about creating a five member board. Where is the interaction between the professional and the five member board? The seven member board would be. Seven member board. Okay. Once you hire that professional, then that, that marketing company would work with that board, and that board would help them develop in multitude of meetings to come up with a marketing plan of what they want to do for the convention center as well as the city of Floresville. Once they come up with a plan that they think is then they would bring it to you, and then you get to tweak the plan. So but you get, it starts with you making it a board, then you tell me to go hire a marketing person, we're bringing the marketing person to you all, and so we need to be able to do it. So it's, it's, a, it's a twofold kind of thing. But the first, be better that it, it, once that board is selected, that you put them together with the council so that the council can tell them what their vision is and what their hopes are so that they can come back with it, something they Yes, ma'am, and my direction that I got earlier tonight was that you all want to meet with those, and I'm so happy that you agreed to those off-week meetings so that we can get those going. And that would definitely be a board once we formulate it, after we advertise it, and people come that you all actually would meet with them and give them direction of where they want to go when we would have the meetings for the consultant from wherever the marketing person that would involve you as well as that board. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to make the motion to establish a visitor and tourist bureau board. A second. A motion by Councilman Rodriguez, second by Councilman Ortiz. Uh, Councilman Mejala, how do you vote? Yes. Councilman Nichols? Yes. Councilman Guerrero? Yes. Okay, motion carries by zero. Thank you. Yeah. If you could do a backflip, you would have done one right there. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to hurry because Councilman Mitchell has to go to his birthday party at the house for Elvis. Okay. Everybody's invited. <laughs> uh, 
Item 4, I, consideration and action to appoint new members to the 4B board. <coughs> Councilman Tejada. As the newest member of the council, I'd like to uh, appoint Chris Talamantes to the 4B board. A second Point of order. Can I? I, I know none of these terms are, have, have been are up, but I mean, can we at least for transparency purposes ask why the, one of the members is being replaced? And which one? Because you have to take one off because it's full. Okay, who are the four newest ones? It's right on. Uh, Ms. Mayor, if I, if I may, um, um, Mayor Helen Tekin was appointed 211, Fred Gonzalez was appointed 211 in 2014, Andy Jocelyn was, appoint Andy Jocelyn, sorry, Andy, was appointed 211 was appointed 2014, as well as Jake Cullen was appointed on 2011-2014. Uh, the remaining three people that we, Mr. Talley, Mr. Lambert, and Mr. Jones, uh, not expired until 2015. What was the last one? Uh, Mr. Talley, Ray Lambert, and David Jones, terms expired in 2015. So they expired at the end of this year? Yeah. Yes, and I believe we moved their, their year to be December, is that right now? December. Your, 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 Chris Delamantes. Motion by my councilman Tejada, second by councilman Ortiz. Councilman Nieta, how do you vote? Yes. Councilman Guerrero? No. Councilman Rodriguez? No. Okay.
talk about how you're going to do your appointments to the other boards, it, it doesn't make uh, it's just like they did years ago with Monica Flores. They moved her for those. I mean, they had the yes. best purpose mm -hmm. behind the center. She spoke the truth and she was removed exactly. immediately. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank to reappoint Jason Talia. Okay. He, he wasn't removed. Right. Okay. Mr. Jones. Okay. 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 Okay.